Good morning you guys, welcome to Vlogtober 2019, day one. I feel like I've been looking forward to Vlogtober since the end of August and I'm so pleased it's finally here. Um, got a really fun, busy month. I just can't wait to get started and I know that lots of you guys are excited as well so that's that always makes it even more fun for me. So we're actually starting Vlogtober quite busily this year. Um, Zach and I are heading down to Devon and Cornwall, the West Country, um, to do a shoot for something that is not quite ready to speak to you guys about, um, but I'm hoping it will happen for us in Vlogtober, so it won't be long. Um, but if I'm purposefully evasive about certain things, um, it's not because I'm ignoring you, I am just protecting this thing that I can't speak about just yet but it is incredibly exciting and I can't wait to show you um but yeah so we're gonna go and do a shoot but we're going for the whole week until Sunday we're gonna spend the weekend with my grandma um obviously who lives down there while we're in the area it makes sense to go and see her yes yeah, so we're gonna be down there um for the next few days we're gonna drive down today um hopefully oh we just got our um, one of the headlights on our car went last, like a couple weeks ago, and we just got it fixed last week, and oh, yesterday the other one went, which is really infuriating, because I'm sure you guys know how long it can take some carriages to do things, but I'm hoping we're going to go to a different one today, or Zach is anyway, and hopefully he can get it sorted whilst he waits. So yeah, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to drive down today, we are staying in like a nice little cabin in Cornwall for the first couple of nights um which i'm really excited about actually it looks gorgeous we just booked it on airbnb if i look a bit tired it's because zach and i were up late last night um just packing for this shoot it's such a boring thing to pack for when you've got something like important to shoot for um i planned all my outfits um we're obviously also at the same time going to be trying to do a little bit for my current Instagram because I won't be able to show you the other photos for a little while and so there's a million outfits I planned all my outfits but just you never know what, you, what you're gonna need beauty or hair wise or like I think I need to pack the steamer still um, we just have a mini one off Amazon it's a bit shit I think I bought it for like 20 quid I definitely need to get a new like invest in a new one if you guys know any good steamers please let me know for situation for situations such as this one but we've got absolutely loads of luggage and we were up late last night just packing everything because um yeah we've had a busy few days actually it's been a busy for like 10 days or something so the run up to vlogtober has been really busy and i've been like oh, i think that's everything i have to talk to you about and i need to get ready anyway as i was saying um this morning i'm going to go to a pt session before we leave and then we're going to leave hopefully fingers crossed if the light can be fixed but anyway so what you can expect this month, I mean, I've got various other th little things planned, but I really wanted to do some stuff to the house. Uh, I've been waiting for Vlogtober to do it, basically, and also has been busy, but I really want to, like, transform the house a little bit. Um, probably, like me and Zach, will do most of it. It won't be dramatic at all, but hopefully it will it'll make the house look a lot better. I don't think that'll be for a week or two, though, because... Um, yeah, it's busy, busy, busy. Yeah, it should be a good one. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, I need to go because I need to get ready for this, uh, for my PT session. I did legs or lower body at about six last night. So, and so this morning is upper body, but I feel like I was just in the gym five minutes ago. I really need to do some cardio, but I don't think I'm going to be able to fit in. I'm not very good at running outside at the moment. Mickey's officially come to visit me this morning. He's going to jump up there. He loves looking out the window whilst I'm working. Sorry about the outer mess, by the way, you guys, because we have the house now. Um, I've just given up in my soul with the, with these two rooms and trying to contain the madness that is kind of living and working with so much stuff all in one place. I We are going to be doing a wardrobe clear out this month. Um, and I think I'm going to try on a lot of my wardrobe, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, um, I joke with Indy that um, I am Mickey's daytime mom, and <laughs> she's his nighttime mom, um, because he likes to come and see me in the day, obviously, whilst she's at school. But yeah, this is Mickey. If you don't know, we've got a cat. <laughs> we adopted him from Facebook. <laughs> someone said, we need to give someone a cat. I think because they were moving and they couldn't have cats anymore. Which is really sad. Um, he's about a year and a bit and he's rather lovely 
um, you'll see his little personality over the course of the next few weeks but um, he's an amazing cat, he's so so nice and uh, yeah I used to when I was little have a little cat um, he's really super long something I've always noticed about him he's always staring at me like what the hell are you doing actually I think he loves the strap on the um, on this camera but yeah that's my gorgeous boy is that my gorgeous boy hi um, him and Mimi are getting on well you'll be able to see some of their little interactions well not well but they kind of still a bit cautious of each other I think we've had him for probably about four weeks now so it's all a work in progress but they haven't there's been really no there's been no antagonism which is good oh yeah that's what I was going to say because I've had a lot of questions about it um, he is not my cat I unfortunately will not be taking him to my house when I move which I'm really sad about but I'm trying to convince Zach who doesn't like cats that much um, <laughs> to let me get a cat when we move because they're such great little companions if you get like a social friendly cat they're so yeah they're kind of really nice to hang around with um, especially when you work from home or whatever but but we'll see on that front but yeah certainly he's not my cat he's a family cat um, anyway, I need to stop talking, I've got to get ready. Um, this is my outfit that I'm going to wear. Um, not exciting at all. As you can see guys, I need to return some And Other Stories stuff this morning. Um, I will show you some of the bits that I've bought, including non And Other Stories stuff, a bit later on. I've packed everything, I think. Setting up for bench press. <laughs> how, how heavy am I doing it now? This is David, by the way. 17.5. 17.5 So obviously you guys, because I'm the world's number one vlogger uh, my camera died whilst I was in the middle of that session so you have to wait till next week to see what else I do in my upper body sessions holding this camera right now this is a really bad choice to do an upper body session like the first day of October because holding this camera right now is killing my arms but anyway I'm going to shower, get ready and then we're going to head off manage to, Zach managed to do the headlight okay whilst I'm gone uh, showering and getting ready I'm going to send Zach with the camera to the house he needs to, we need to pick up some things from there make sure he shows you the garden because it's an absolute jungle since the last time you saw it all the rain and then the sunshine and then the rain and then the sunshine and then the rain and the sunshine has made the garden crazy <laughs> So I am ready to go. This is my outfit today. Um, it's a pretty chill one. Um, just wearing this Unif tee that I bought from a Buffalo Exchange in New York. Um, another Unif item, um, an old one. And my mom jeans from Levi's. Uh, I don't know if they make this specific shape anymore. I do love it though. And then my Pumas as well. Zach and I now have the glorious job of trying to pack the car in the pouring rain and also driving down today is going to be grim in the rain as well. We have enough stuff guys and there's three suit carriers in here as well. I mean I would put it all into one big bag but sometimes that actually makes it harder to pack and harder to lug around but I don't know maybe I should <laughs> stop doing this. I think once we have, I'm wearing my hats, once we have the house we have access to our bigger suitcases more easily. <laughs> we might be more inclined to use those, but these are the things we have on hand upstairs. The other ones are like locked in a vault. I'm gonna miss you. That's nice. You're gonna miss me. I'm gonna miss you too. My puppy, my baby, my first baby. Kisses for memes. Hi guys, so we're on our way. I've got some weird camera setup going on here.
good stuff. There's nothing worse than this sort of weather. There's basically nothing to look at, but I've just missed showing you Stonehenge. Hang on, hang on. Oh, of course, it's not going to focus on it. There we go. quite steep and yes that is still my Edinburgh parking permit I'll do a proper little tour in a minute once we've got our bearings. How cute is this? There's a little stream down here. Which is super cute. I think the loo situation must be over here. Right, that's an outdoor shower. get some food for the night. I'm starving and I'm about to get hungry. We shouldn't have come shopping hungry because I've already added some local cheese. Zach's put some fig rolls in. So we are back, we've got our food. Zach's just going to light the fire. And then, yeah, I'm gonna crack open some red wine and eat. Zach's making bolognese tonight. I haven't had bolognese for a long, 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 long time. So I'm excited for that. Guys, a little tour. Here's the desk space. There is Wi Fi, thank goodness. So we can upload for October. All shelves and windows. Feels quite nice and spacious. Um, and then we've got the kitchen, obviously, and cozy little sofa. I haven't had a proper chance to look at the books yet. Here's another light. I'm trying to find all the lights in the room. Um, then we've got two bunk beds, which obviously Zach and I will not be using, which I've transformed into my <laughs> dressing room for the time being. Um, more books over here, a little dining room table. These look like lots of Cornwall books. And then I haven't been up here yet. Got some little shelving there. Cozy little bed. How cute. Fire's burning merrily away. It's nice, it's a little bit chilly in here. It smells delicious. Tomato cutting. Got anything to say about these? <laughs> officially served. Yum. Hi guys. So I have just been reading for the rest of the evening after dinner. Finished my book finally. feel like it took me absolutely ages um, but I ended up enjoying it. Uh, I will probably do a dedicated September books video um, but if you would like me to spread out my October books and kind of talk about them as I read them, I can do that or I can do a dedicated one separately. Let me know what you guys would prefer because I've had suggestions both ways and I just don't know <laughs> which way to do it. Um, I quite like the kind of dedicated book videos but then I guess it's only one month anyway. So, um, but then I also don't want to bore you guys who aren't 
very interested in book content. However, I will be talking about books a lot in general. Um, but yeah, I'm really glad to have had that finished now because it's been weighing on me that I haven't read um, enough. Anyway, I'm um, gonna go to bed now. As you might be able to tell, I don't think you can on camera actually. Just sprayed a lot of dry shampoo in my hair. Our inside hot water isn't working. So I'm a bit concerned about our outside hot water for the morning. But we'll see, maybe the outside shower is uh, separately serviced, I don't know. I just know that I'm not gonna like it in the morning, like it's okay right now, but I just know I'm not gonna like it. So I put some dry shampoo to kind of <laughs> soak in overnight, but I might put a little bit more in actually. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go to bed now. It's actually quite late because we've been kind of doing bits and bobs. Um, so I'm super excited to just fall asleep. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed day one of Vlogtober. More fun stuff to come. Um, tomorrow will be like our first real shoot day. Just driving around Cornwall a little bit, which will be lovely. Thank you guys for watching today. Bye.